sending both clubs going at each other. Bars and Xavier McDaniel. The next one, someone's going to be ejected. This the scene at Chicago Stadium about two hours ago. Around North Carolina, Edgar 6 6, Michael Jordan. Jordan with the snap, and he's fouled. Time. We're coming down the lane. We don't care how hard you fight. Nick defensive effort, the fact they played him. Two days to rest. Here's George. They don't want New York getting up the floor quickly. Patrick Ewing got a 7-4 advantage. And the Knicks have opened up by hitting their first three shots. Here is Jordan. Three when they won it all against the Los Angeles Lakers. Jordan. Jordan with the spin and the bucket. Yeah. That rally refers to John Starks as feast or famine. Timeout was called. Both clubs going at each other. Michael Jordan and Xavier McDaniel having words. Double technicals were called on McDaniel and Jordan. What well, we said a moment ago down on the baseline foul that Jake O'Donnell was stepping in to send the message. This is step number two in the message sending process. The next one, someone's going to be ejected from this basketball game, which is a very serious step. Jake O'Donnell does not mess around. You, you're messing with the wrong referee so far. Ooh, so that means Chicago going to win today? You want to go home now? <laughs> And actually, Cliff Levingston first warned the official as Greg Anthony ran into his first screen in the backcourt, and then when he did it again, the whistle blew. Yes, and a count. In game six. Wilkins picked off by Grant. Jordan. I'm on a three-pointer. Mark Jackson is back for Greg Anthony. Oh, good look from Jordan. Pepper with a steal. Here's Jordan. Yes. Active in game six against the Knicks. Got into a little scrap at the end of the game. Here's Michael Jordan. He now has 29 points. And the Bulls lead 56-46. And the Chicago Bulls lead the New York Knicks by the score of 56-51. Halftime of the seventh and final game by Jordan. Here's Pippen. Paxson. Rare to see him off the dribble. And it's tipped home. Paxson getting set to come on, so Ewing will sit down. Here's Jordan. What a feed for Grant. But he stepped out. He came from out of bounds. And the basket does not count. Marv has come on for Bill Cartwright. King missed the first two games of the series with the flu. Sat out Thursday night with a bad throw. Here's Jordan splitting through. Jordan with the steal. And then it's stolen by Starks. McDaniel chased by Jordan. It's a clean block. Whose game is it? It's Michael Jordan's game. And that's why Magic said before he was demanding the basketball from his teammates. He knows right now. He's got it. He feels it. He splits the potential tap, and then, after scoring, comes right back with a terrific... One of the most remarkable sequences that you will see. Michael Jordan doing it in every phase of the game. First, the bucket, then the steal, then he lost it, and then he's able to hustle back and come up with the rejection. He's got to show you again. First, he gets the inbounds pass. Then he starts to dribble. He splits the double team right there. First move. Now he continues for the score. Then he turns around and looks for the basketball. Picks it off like a wide defensive back in football. But loses it. Still hustles back and makes up with effort by preventing the sure layup for the New York Knicks. The two days off recharge his battery. His energy level is up. At eight. Jordan for King. to the Michael Jordan. But well, most of the time he's been coming to the middle. This time he fooled everybody, went baseline, and went up under for two.
The big thing here is how quickly he has to make a decision. Nobody in the middle, he takes a quick look, then comes back, avoids Ewing rotating over to try and block it, and then has the ability to finish with his left hand. For all the youngsters out there that coaches keep telling you, you have to learn how to use both hands, that's the reason why. So you can make after three in Chicago, led by Michael Jordan, who has scored 36. The Bulls with their biggest lead, not only of the game, but of this series. Bulls 79, the Knicks 64 will be back. Eight up on that, it looked like Chicago was playing in style. It was a classy organization. <laughs> I'm, I'm I mean, when the, they say no, oh, yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> Best seller, Fooled Out, starring Ed Asner, Life Danner, Dennis Farina. That's coming your way tonight here on NBC. They may remember that, right? Oh, Armstrong and Starks want to go at each other. B.J. Armstrong pointing in the direction of John Starks. Well, Ernie Grunfeld of the Knicks staff is Jordan. Michael Jordan with 42 points. If you uh, maybe a guy that can go one on one. Uh, if they get those guys, everybody in the East better watch out. And this crowd providing a standing ovation for the Chicago Bulls. Winning back to back was not is not going to be easy for them. This is seven game series. The next series might be seven, and whoever they play in the finals is going to give them all they want to if they get that far. So. Running it down as they hear it from the crowd. A three pointer to conclude matters. Bulls 109, Knicks 81. You, you know, I wonder if Oakley and Jordan going to be his closest friends in the summertime after this series. Chicago Bulls have defeated the New York Knicks 110-81 to take this grueling series in seven. The talking about coming to this game that you were tired, you got wore down in the fourth quarter. Obviously, that wasn't the case today. Well, I think the day off really helped us mentally. You know, we've been thinking basketball every day, and then Phil gave us a day off, and everybody got away from basketball and got ourselves back together mentally, and, you know, it, it really helped you saw it today. I think mentally you guys got a shot in the arm because coming into the series, you maybe thought you were going to get by New York pretty easy, and they pretty much woke you up. You got to give this New York team credit, man. They pushed us to the limits. They really played extremely well.